Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Otter Valley Railroad or OVRTrains.com has their first freight car out. It's the NSC 6400 cubic foot scrap and trash gondola. We'll be taking a look at this in several different schemes. And I believe they're still available and they have another run coming. So we'll get this out of the box and see what you get next. All right, we're just gonna unbox this here. No paperwork, I like it. That's really strong. Soft plastic after the hard plastic blister. And there's your gondola out of the box. Okay, so I know we pulled out AIMX first, but we'll take a look at uh, all four of these. I'm just going to point out a couple things and then we'll um, move on to like weight and stuff. They obviously have some really good detail. Uh, if we zoom in here to the end of the car, you can see, um, looks like I've lost my pointer, but you've got a coupler, you've got airline hoses and brake line hose. That is like right there on the ground. Hopefully that doesn't mess with operation too much, but just really nice detail. Coupler cut lever in ladders, a couple uh, crossover platform obviously FRA striping along the side with the ribbing of the car these uh, wheels they came each uh, car comes with extra roller bearing caps because they do turn the trucks are stamped with the uh, reporting marks I can turn it on its side here so you can see some of the underbody detail air reservoirs brake line rigging etc etc very accurate underbody from what i can see and that gives you a good look there of the coupler cut lever bar and the other in detail you can see that the ladders have separately applied parts at the bottom and then it's kind of integrated in the car which isn't like you know a cheapity it's basically what the car looks like so you have ladder rungs kind of integrated into the car and you can see separate uh, detail even from that uh, there so it looks like it's separated there And there is another look from the car on this side. Nice print. All the capacity marks and stuff are on there. And there's a look on the inside. You get a good look at the uh, crossover platform for the coupler there as well. Let's move on to a different scheme. Here's AIMX. Just going to give you a quick 360. There are, uh, well, I don't know if there's differences or not, but I'll give you a quick 360 anyway. I'll let you see the bottom. Maybe you can see the bottom better with the lighter color. FRA reporting marks on this too. I know that brake wheel and brake chain kind of definitely blended in that darker color one there. But there's that. Reporting marks on the end, along with other warnings and capacity and such. Now there's Amix. Here's OFOX. Quick 360 of that. Oak Ridge. Quick 360 of that for you. So I think that runs mostly in the northeast. Lastly, there's data only, so you can make your own reporting marks. It has no reporting marks or numbers on it. I don't know if that's all the schemes, that's just what I ordered, so wanted you to see a variation of these. Measuring the car comes in at 9 inches. I know you got to do some math to see that, but 9 inch car, so for uh, NMRA standards, 
off off camera I did the uh, couplers which weren't a problem but on camera real quick I'll do this uh, should be let's see nine inches and one initial ounce plus half ounce per inch so four and a half so these should weigh five and a half ounces I don't know really the MRA rules when you don't have any loads in it but it's pretty close it's five ounces so not bad at all I'll take another one just for check here and five ounces so you know half an ounce worth of trash and you're at NMRA standards I'm not gonna fault them for that by any means speaking of NMRA standards we'll check the wheel sets on camera here those look good I'll check all the others off camera and report back to you if there's any problems typically there aren't but there's another glance of the under okay these uh roll fine very limited body wobble it's gonna have some because they're just hollow shells they need loads you know but it's not too bad so you can be a judge but I don't think they're gonna weigh down your train they roll pretty well and look pretty good so that's gonna wrap up the review of these cars I'll leave you with a run by thanks for watching and see you next time